नाम श्रेष्ठ मनम सचिपुत्र अत्रस्वूपम श्रीरूपम तस्याग्रज उपुरी माथुरी गोष्ठवाटी राधाकुंड गिरीवर महोराधिका माधवासा प्राप्त ये प्रति कृपया श्रीगुर तम नस्मी हे गुरो दीन दीनबंधो स्वानंददाता करुणक सिंधो वृंदवनासीन हितावतारा प्रसीद राधा प्रणय प्रचारा हे दीनबंधो करुणक सिंधो कुरु प्रसाद मयि मंदमूे लक्षापराधे बहुपापगाधे तत्द पद्मे स्तु मते कृष्णे I bow down to the beautiful lotus feet of my spiritual master by whose costless mercy I have obtained the supreme holy name the divine mantra the service of the son of sachi mata the association of shri swarup damodar rupa ko swami and his older brother sanatan ko swami the supreme abode of mathura the blissful abode of vrindavana the divine radha kund and govardhan hill and the desire within my heart for the loving service of shri radhika and madhava in vrindavan o spiritual master o giver of divine wisdom o friend of the fallen you are the giver of your own bliss and you are the only ocean of mercy although dwelling in vrindavana you have descended for the welfare of fallen souls like myself and you are preaching the divine love of radha and krishna please be kind upon me o oh, friend of the lowly o oh, guru deva you are the only ocean of mercy i am a dull fool and i have committed hundreds of thousands of offenses i have fallen into a dense myriad of sins therefore grace me with your mercy so that my mind may be fixed on your lotus feet and on sri krishna The Lord's feet of our spiritual master are the only way by which we can attain pure devotional service. I bow to His Lord's feet with great awe and reverence. By His grace, one can cross the ocean of material suffering and obtain the mercy of Krishna. Our only wish is to have our consciousness purified by the words emanating from His Lord's mouth. Attachment to His Lord's feet is a perfection that fulfills all desires. Our only wish. He opens our darkened eyes and fills our hearts with transcendental knowledge. He is our Lord, birth after birth. From Him, ecstatic prema emanates. By Him, ignorance is destroyed. The Vedic scriptures sing of His character. Our spiritual master is the ocean of mercy, the friend of the poor, and Lord and master of the devotees. O oh, Master, be merciful unto us. Give us the shade of Your lotus feet. Your fame is spread all over the three worlds. Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Guru Charana Padma, Kevala Bhakti Sadma. Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakti Sadma Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakti Sadma
वंदमा सवधान वंदमा सवधान माते हर प्रसाद भाई हे भवत हर प्रसाद भाई भवतरिया कृष्ण प्राप्ति हो
प्रेमा भक्ति होते अवेद्या विनाश जाते मेरे गाया हर चरित मेरे गाया हर चरित श्री गुरु करुणा सिंधु आधम जनार बंधु लोकनाथ लोके रजीवाना आह प्रभु कर दया देह मोरे पादा चाया देव यश दुष्टे भवाना श्री गुरु करुणा सिंधु आदम जनारा बंध लोकनाथ लोके रजीवाना आह प्रभु कर दया देह मरे पदा छाया देव यशुत्रिभवाना जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा शील प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा जय जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद प्रभु पद शील प्रभु पद जय जय गुरुदेव 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 शील गुरुदेव निदाय गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो निदाय गौर हरि बो हरि बो नम ओ विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतल श्रीमत भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नीति नमिने नम ओ विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतल नमस्ते सरस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे नमस्ते रबुप कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदर शिवा सारी गौरा भक्त वृंद Hey 
गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमण हरि गोविंद जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमण हरि नित्य गौरंग जय नित्य गौरंग नित्य गौरंग जय नित्य गौरंग जय राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राधे राधे गौरांग नेताय जय गौरांग नेताय गौरांग नेताय श्री श्री गौरांग नेता प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद चेल प्रभु पाद पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद चेल प्रभु पाद जय जय गुरुदेव 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 श्रील गुरुदेव नेताय गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नेताय गौर हरि बो ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्रजगाचार्य अष्टोत्तरशतमते डिवाइन ग्रेस आभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्रील प्रभुपाद की इस्कान फौंड्राचार्य बीबीटी फौंड्राचार्य डिवाइन ग्रेस श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्रजगाचार्य अष्टोत्तरशत डिवाइन ग्रेस भक्त सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर शील प्रभुपाद की नित्यलीला प्रविष्ट ओम वैराग्य मूर्ति गौर किशोर दास बाबाजी महाराज की नित्यलीला प्रविष्ट ओम सच्चितानंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की नित्यलीला प्रविष्ट ओम वैष्णव सार्वभौम जगन्नाथ दास बाबाजी महाराज की अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद की श्री रूप सनातन भट्ट रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भट्ट दास रघुनाथ षड गोस्वामी प्रभुगण की वर्तमानाचार्य वृंद की ब्रह्म माधव गौड़ीय गुरु शिष्य संप्रदाय की श्रील प्रभुपाद गुरु पूजा की श्रील प्रभुपा ट्रांसनेटल बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोग्राम की ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री गुरु एंड श्री गौरंग नमा ओम श्रीपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण या मृदंग प्लेयर एनी बड़ी गुड मृदंग हरे कृष्ण जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव
ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಶತ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಜಿವಾಯಿನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಮದನ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರ್ನದಾಯ್ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಸಮೇತ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಪಾವನ ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಿ ಗ್ರಂಥರಾಜ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕಿ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಅಸಂಬಲ್ ದಿ ಬಾಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಅಸಂಬಲ್ ದಿ ಬಾಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಅಸಂಬಲ್ ದಿ ಬಾಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರಂಗ thank you good morning a very good thank you i will display was okay ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕಯ ಚುಹುವುನ್ಮೀಲ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರವೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾ ಮಹ್ಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತ್ಯಕ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೂನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹ ಗಣರಘುನಾಥನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದನ್ ಸಹ ಗಣಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ನಮಾ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದೀ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣೆ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೌರತ್ವಿಷೇ ನಮಃ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತೇ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೇ ಬೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನೋಸು ತೇ ದೇವೀ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇ ನಷ್ಟಪ್ರಾಯೇಷ್ವದ್ರೇಷು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಠಿಕಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ದೇವಕೀ ನಂದನಾಯ ನಂದಗೋಪಕುಮಾರ ಗೋವಿಂದಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ please all of you repeat after me you see the words on the board is it coming how to connect i think ah oh. parasparanu okay. ah. no. kathanam pavanam bhagavad yashah pavanam bhagavad 
मिथोरतेर्मितस्तुष्टिर निवृत्तिर्मिथ आत्मनः परस्परानुकथनम् पावनम् भगवत् यशः मिथोरतेर्मितस्तुष्टिर निवृत्तिर्मिथ आत्मनः परस्परानुकथनम् पावनम् भगवत् यशः मिथोरतेर्मितस्तुष्टिर निवृत्तिर्मिथ आत्मनः परस्परानुकथनम् पावनम् भगवत् यशः मिथोरतेर्मितस्तुष्टिर निवृत्तेर्मितात्मनः निवृत्तेर्मितात्मनः परस्परानुकथनम् पावनम् भगवत् यशः पावनम् भगवत् यशः मितोरतेर्मितस्तुष्टि मितोरतेर्मितस्तुष्टे निवृत्तेर्मित आत्मनः निवृत्तेर्मित आत्मनः परस्परानुकथनम् परस्परानुकथनम् पावनम् भगवत् यशा पावनम् भगवत् यशा मितोरतीर्मितस्तुष्टिर मितोरतीर्मितस्तुष्टिर निवृत्तीर्मित आत्मनः निवृत्तीर्मित आत्मनः परस्परानुकथनम् भगवत् यशः पावनम् भगवत् यशः मितोरतीर्मितस्तुष्टिर मितोरतीर्मितस्तुष्टिर निवृत्तीर्मितात्मनः निवृत्तीर्मितात्मनः एनबडी वन लास्ट यू कैन गिव इट द लिटिल गर्ल शी आंसर लास्ट है मेनी क्वेश्चंस हाँ परस्परानुकथनम् परस्परानुकथनम् पावनम् भगवत् यशः पावनम् भगवत् यशः मिथो मितोरतेर मितस्तुष्टेर मितोरतेर मितस्तुष्टेर निर्वित्रा मिता आत्मना हा निर्वित्रा मिता आत्मना हा परस्परा परस्परा म्यूचुअल अनुकथनम् डिस्कशन पावनम् प्यूरिफाइंग भगवत् ऑफ़ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड यशः ग्लोरीज मिताह म्यूचुअल रति ही लविंग अट्रैक्शन मिताह म्यूचुअल तुष्टि ही सैटिस्फैक्शन निवृत्ति ही सेसेशन ऑफ मटेरियल मिजरीज मिता हा म्यूचुअल आत्मा ना हा ऑफ द सोल ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोर्ट बाय द डिसाइपल्स ऑफ इस डिवाइन ग्रेस ऐसी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री प्रभात की वन शुड लर्न हाउ टू एसोसिएट विद द डिवोटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड बाय गैदरिंग विद देम टू � this process is most purifying. As devotees thus develop their loving friendship, they feel mutual happiness and satisfaction. And by thus encouraging one another, they are able to give up material sense gratification, which is the cause of all suffering. Can you please repeat after me? One should learn how to associate with the devotees of the Lord by gathering with them to chant the glories of the Lord. This process is most purifying. As devotees thus develop their loving friendship, 
they feel mutual happiness and satisfaction and by thus encouraging one another they are able to give up material sense gratification which is a cause of all suffering purport according to shri shridhar swami those who are advanced in krishna consciousness should not envy one another or quarrel among themselves giving up all such mundane feelings they should gather together and chant the glories of the supreme lord for mutual purification shri vishnu chakrata thakur has pointed out that glorification of the supreme lord is especially potent when performed in the association of pure devotees when devotees engage in sankirtana chanting the glories of the lord together they experience the highest transcendental bliss and satisfaction thus they encourage one another to give up material sense gratification which is based on illicit sexual connections with women one devotee will say to another oh you have given up sense gratification starting today i shall also give it up one should learn to increase one's love for the devotees to satisfy them and to give up sense objects unfavorable to serving krishna and one should learn to view the entire universe as paraphernalia for the lord's service by engaging the objects of the senses in krishna service one automatically becomes detached from them and as one passes one's days in the association of lord's devotees one's transcendental ecstasy increases more and more through discussions about the topics of shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita therefore one who wants to be free from the harassment of maya in the form of sense gratification must constantly associate with pure devotees of the lord and who have no engagement other than chanting and hearing the glories of the lord and carrying out his mission on earth shila madhvacharya has pointed out that just as one should cultivate friendship with devotees one must cultivate a spirit of friendship towards the demigods who manage the universe on the lord's behalf thus one should live peacefully within this world hare krishna it's a very beautiful verse so we welcome all of you for the shrimad bhagavatam class this morning at isv we are very much missing the holy association of his grace vaisheshika prabhu um, currently he is taking yatra in india i heard nevertheless my dates of visit this time happened to be like this but uh, remembering him and uh, praying at his lotus feet for his mercy i will try to say a few words <clears throat> i was planning to speak this morning on the topic of guhya makhyati prachati where does this word come anybody knows nectraf nectraf instruction which is the verse anybody knows yeah fourth verse dadati pratigrahnati guhya makhyati prachati bhungte bhojayate chaiva shadvidham priti lakshanam very important verse so this verse says there are six ways by which one can increase the loving attraction between devotees now the very first question is what is the need for developing priti lakshanam priti means love lakshana means symptoms so priti lakshanam is symptoms of love or six ways he says so what is the need of that because in the uh, bhagavatam itself it is said i just show you one small chart Who is this? Who are these two people? Ah, Krishna and Sadama. And they developed Preeti Lakshanam also between one another. How did they develop? All of you please repeat this. You want uh, Sanskrit or English? 
Is all right? English? English, okay, yeah. Vayam brisham tatra mahani lambu bhir Nihanyamana mahurambu samplave Dishovidanto taparas param vane Grihita hasta paribabri maturaha So Krishna is telling, Vayam means we, you and me. Krishna and Sudama is saying. Krishna is speaking to Sudama. Prasham tatra mahani lambabir. Prasham means very powerful, very great hailstorm. Huh? Came once in the forest. Huh? At that time, mahurambu uh, samplave. Uh, the water started flowing like a river. Huh? Crossing even almost beyond the hip. Huh? So much water in the forest. And we both were sent by Guru Mata, Sandipani Muni's good wife, to fetch some firewood from the forest. And we got stranded in the forest. The show, Abhidanto, we lost our direction. And I was calling you, Hey Sudama! And you were calling me, Hey Krishna! And we could hear each other's sounds, but we could not see each other. We were lost. And then after loudly calling each other's names, and then at last we got to meet each other, Parasparam Vane. And once we met with each other, we became very happy. You feel secure when in a jungle you are not alone. Huh? You are with one more. And as soon as we came close to each other, what we did? Grihita Hastaha. We caught each other's hands. Paribabri Maturaha. Matura, our mother... Guru Mata had given a duty to us to bring the firewood. So one hand we were catching the firewood, another hand we were catching the hands. So the firewood represents the mission of Guru, service to Guru. Instead of firewood, you are all carrying books on your shoulder, isn't it, for distributing books. Because books are a converted form of tree only, isn't it? So you are carrying the Guru's mission on your shoulder, and with the other hands, you are catching each other's hand, which means... That is Preeti Lakshana, loving friendship. So, in the path of spiritual life, two things are very important. Cultivating loving friendship with devotees on one hand. On the other hand, while cultivating that friendship, in that friendship we should execute Guru's mission. Sometimes what happens in the course of executing Guru's mission, one may become so busily preoccupied, they may tell other devotees, Prabhu or Mataji, I have no time. And I am busy running here, running there, I am doing the service. Uh, you know, somehow I have to preach and expand, or I have to distribute so many books, uh, or I, I am super busy. Many times in trains and uh, flights, you find people sitting with their mobiles, correct? Uh, you know, all the time they are busy. They are sitting next to each other, but they don't even look at each other also. They don't even ask each other's names also. Uh, Chanakya says, Nikatastopi Duram, he's saying. Durastopi Nikitam, two things he has said. Although somebody may be touching your body, sitting next to you, they may not connect with you at all, they are connecting with mobile. Correct, no? Similarly, in our same home, sometimes two people are sitting in two rooms and uh, you know, sending WhatsApp messages to some friend far away. And they are not feeling connection to each other. They are feeling connection with somebody across the globe. You know, they may connect with somebody like that because they have attraction for them because they don't know the actual person. Isn't it? On the other hand, there is a person right next to them, they may not connect. So therefore, here it is said, Grihita hastaha paribabri matura. See, they are catching, see the right side picture. Krishna and Sudama are catching each other's hands. But on the other hand, what are they having? Firewood. That, is, that represents the mission. Not that in the name of friendship, they are uh, just throwing away the firewood and dancing together. Huh? <laughs> no, huh? They are carrying firewood also. One should also... Both are important. We should uh, bring some results for this moment. Because Prabhupada wanted us to distribute books. Mm. At the same time, in the name of bringing result, we cannot become dried up devotees. If we become, if we run dry in the heart without any loving relationship, juice arising from loving relationships, then we cannot go on for a long time. Just like somebody says, sorry, I have no time to put petrol in the vehicle. 
I am I'm just going to go on driving. Huh? Yes, you can drive, but after some time, petrol will run out. Huh? At that time, you have to stop the vehicle and you will be in trouble. Huh? You will be stranded in the middle of a uh, forest and you won't have any petrol. Huh? You can't tow the car also there. Huh? So therefore, in spiritual life, many times those who are super busy, suddenly they find themselves at the edge of a burnout sometimes. And uh, they feel, I haven't studied Shastra well, I haven't uh, uh, met devotees and spent time. And I have no friends, uh, they feel a bit lonely. And, and, uh, so, uh, and suddenly they find, them, is there someone who cares for me? Is there someone who will talk to me? Uh, like the people look around suddenly. So, because they have not invested any time in uh, cultivating friendships. And we can't cultivate friendship with million devotees, it's not possible. Uh, with a handful of devotees, all of us, by dint of uh, providence and uh, by Krishna's arrangement, we are all put in some particular project, uh, some particular uh, geographic location, um, and uh, we, we are surrounded by devotees, and we should have at least two, three, four, some friends, uh, other devotees with whom we associate with. Um, so, uh, uh, there was one family, one, uh, one Mata who was selling that, when uh, she came to a community, she felt very lonely because she came from another community. Um, to this community, one community. And then she was feeling a little lonely. So later on in the temple, she connected with a few ladies and they started a online uh, Bhagavatam study. Daily 20 minutes they started. And now she got eight friends now. Mm-hmm. You know, these eight ladies have become very thick now. Huh? Now they meet in the temple, they make garland together, they make jewelry together. Now when they go to market, they go together with some of the friends. Huh? To, or if they have to go to doctor, one lady takes another lady to the doctor. Huh? Like that, they have become very close with each other now. And that uh, Bhagavatam study gave a platform for them to connect. Correct, now, Like that. So, some people are introvertish. Um, due to being introvertish, they are afraid to talk to anybody. They, they are mostly with themselves. But they also have emotions which nobody knows what's going on inside. Uh, but they don't know to express and take help from others. But even such people, if they come and study Bhagavatam study circle, so in Pune, we call it as a sport, we call it. Srila Prabhupada Online Reading Team. That's called sport. Join the sports. Sport team. So when they join the sport team, they become sportive devotees. Then they don't feel morose or they are not feeling lonely. So in this way, Krishna and Sadama were strongly connected. So when, when does such emotional bonds between devotees develop? when uh, there are some struggles they undergo together. Hmm? Like these fellows, Krishna and Sudama in the forest, they were undergoing a struggle together. There is a fear that it's pitch dark, it's night, moonlit night, and uh, we are away from home and there is no way you can go back in the night. Huh? They were stranded in the forest. Next day morning, uh, their guru came, huh? Sandipani Muni. He was worried. What happened to the children? Huh? Next day morning. so. See, constantly besieged by the powerful wind and rain, we lost our way amidst the flooding waters. We simply held each other's hands and in great distress wandered aimlessly about the forest. This is another example of Krishna clasping Uddhava's hands affectionately. Hmm? Because Krishna here, you know, is very thick, uh, they both are thick friends, Krishna and uh, Uddhava. And Uddhava is also a great devotee of Krishna. Vrishni nam pravaro mantri, Krishna sya daita saka, like that it said. Shishyo brihaspate sakshat, uddhavo buddhi satta maha. I think this is in 11th canto, you will read this verse, I think. Hmm? Very nice verse. Vrishni nam pravaro mantri, means amongst the mantris in the Yadu dynasty, uddhava can be considered the topmost mantri. Hmm? Nobody match to him. Because whenever Krishna needed expert advice, he would consult whom? Uddhava only. Um, and he would do Guhya Makati Prachati with Uddhava. Call Uddhava. For example, at one time, Krishna got one uh, letter uh, from the uh, kings who were put in the jail of Jarasandha. You know? So the letter said, my dear Lord, we are all stuck in the jail of Jarasandha for decades. Uh, and our bodies have become emaciated. Mm. We have lost our luster. I think we have to die in the jail only all our life. We are all kings from different provinces. But Jarasandha 
seeing that we are all fighting with one another. Hmm? He took advantage of our fighting and captured us and uh, put us in the jail. Hmm? And uh, we are all running out of any energy in the body. We are all going to die. But before we die, we want to have a beautiful darshan of you. Hmm? So if it pleases you, please kindly save us. Hmm? So they wrote a letter. And at the same time, another letter came uh, through Narada, who came to give invitation uh, uh, for Rajasuri Yajna to be held by Yudhishthir Maharaj. Uh, that letter had come also. So Krishna was wondering, two two invitations, where to go? Any of you felt that difficulty sometimes? Uh, same day, two marriages. So, and both marriages are 10 to 1 in the morning. What will you do? So you go to one marriage at 10 o'clock, stay for one hour and go to the next marriage. <laughs> Isn't it? So that before that ends, you join there. And you decide out of the room which is more important. <laughs> and so that you will be there for the yeah, exact muhurta for one and the other one you can also go. So sometimes we also are indecisive. When we are indecisive, we need somebody to guide us. <laughs> so Krishna was wondering what to do. So when Krishna told about these two news to the yadus, like... Uh, Pradyumna, Aniruddha, they were all jumping. They said, wow, wonderful opportunity. Let us fight Jarasandha and finish him. They said, please give us the order. We are immediately ready to go. Krishna said, wait a minute. I appreciate your spirit. But like Chanakya says, you know, your spirit may be great, but you should also know the strength of the other person. So Krishna said, wait a minute. Let us consult someone. Then he called for Uddhava. And he told Uddhava, Uddhava, you are the most intelligent. You tell us what we should do. So Uddhava gave advice. Uddhava said, you see, Jarasandha has 21 Akshavahinis. Huh? 23 Akshavahinis, I think. 23 Akshavahinis. Army. Huge army. It is not intelligent on our part to fight with him in a big battle because sheer number alone huh, can overpower our army. So we should not uh, go for warring against somebody. It would be foolishness. He said. Then the Yadus understood, okay, then what we should do? Should we go for one on one dual fight? Uh, then Uddhava said, uh, There is only one person who can kill Jarasandha. Who is that? Bhima. And Bhima also cannot kill alone. He will need the guidance of Krishna. So, so Bhima and Arjuna and Krishna, three of, three of you should go. But you should not go as Kshatriyas to fight with him. You should go as brahmanas, dress up yourself like brahmanas and go and approach him, meet him and uh, request him for charity. And what is the what charity they requested? Fight. Uh, so that's what you should do. Then Jarasandha will surely agree. Uh, he is very fond of giving charity and he will give the charity of fight. And then mostly Jarasandha will choose whom to fight with, combat, Bhima. And then Bhima, Bhima will fight, but Bhima has raw strength, but he doesn't have skill. No? Therefore, the skill should be supplied by Krishna. And then the Lord supplies the skillful idea, then Bhima will finish the Rasanda. So, and then uh, Krishna asked, so should we go to fight with the Rasanda now, or should I go to Rasanda again? He said, first you should finish the Rasanda. He said, why? Because as long as the Rasanda survives, you know, Yudhishthir Maharaj cannot go ahead with Rajasuri Yajna because he has to conquer all the kings of the world. This is what you should do. So Krishna said, just see what expert advice. So Uddhava gave Uddhavo Buddhi Satamaha. Buddhi Satama means he is super intelligent, Uddhava. And he is a Shishya Brihaspati Sakshat. He is a Shishya of whom? The guru of the demigods. Brihaspati was his guru. And amongst the demigod disciples, I mean, Uddhava was the topmost. Uh, uh, Brihaspati glorified him for his uh, understanding and talent. So, although he was a very learned Pandita, Uddhava, great in Shastra, you know, he is actually Krishna's cousin. So, he also had a bluish complexion and uh, similar looks like Krishna. But he was a pure devotee of Krishna. If you read uh, the 11th canto in Uddhava Gita, you will see how, what amazing verses Uddhava speaks in glorification of Krishna. Tasmat bhavanta manavadya mananta param sarvagya mishwaram akunta vikunta dishnyam nirvinna di rahamuhe vrijanabitapto nara yanam narasakam sharanam prapadye. I am not going to tell this verse. If I go into the meaning, the class will be over today. 
But I'm just giving you a reference. You go back and I'll give it as a homework to you, okay? How it begins? Tasmaad bhavanta manavadyam anantaparam. Somebody can locate the verse number and tell other devotees. So, yeah, Tasmaad? 11, 7, 18. 11, 7, 18. Homework. You'll do the homework? Okay. Each word is explained in that purport. Tasmaad bhavanta anavadyam ananta param sarvagyam Ishwaram, Akunta Vikunta Dishnim. Each word is explained in the purport. Yeah, that's the verse. It is 11, 7, 18. 11, 7, 18. So, that is Uddhava has spoken this verse. Amazing verse it is. Huh? So, he is giving reason why he is accepting Krishna as his master. Why is he taking shelter of Krishna? You hear from this intelligent person why we should surrender to Krishna. Hmm? Most intelligent personality. Vrishni Nam, Pravaro Mantri. Krishna said, Daita Saka. Daita means very, very dear. You want to know how dear Uddhava is to Krishna? One day Krishna told Uddhava, Uddhava, you are more dear to me than Brahma and Shiva. You are more dear to me than Lakshmi also. You are more dear to me than even myself also for me. See, for all of you, who is most dear? The person whom you see in the mirror. Correct, no? So we are all very dear to ourselves, isn't it? He says that you are more dear to me even more than myself also. In the one of the Chakravati Thakur's commentary, in the fourth canto, Chakravati Thakur says that Lakshmi Ji once told uh, Lord, uh, Lord Narayana that, my dear Lord, you told not only Uddhava is dear to you more than Shiva and Brahma, you told Uddhava is dear to you more than me also. <laughs> that means I am not very important for you. Lord felt very shy. I should not have spoken this. I don't know. <laughs> Somehow the news has reached the ears of Lakshmi. Hmm? So Lakshmi is telling, please give you a, keep your hand on my head and bless me so that I also become a great devotee one day. I think she is telling. Sometimes this is one problem in glorifying devotees. Hmm? You glorify one devotee and the news reaches another devotee. Hmm? And the devotee says, hey, you glorified that devotee for 10 minutes and you glorified me only 8 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> People compare like that, isn't it? So, in this way, Uddhava is a very special devotee. Uh, and here you find Krishna is calling Uddhava one day in his palace in Dwaraka. And he is clasping his hands, you can see in the picture. Uh, and he is telling Uddhava, I have a very special assignment for you. Mm -hmm. This assignment no one else can do. Only you can do. Why? Because the Vijapasis are all, you know, feeling the fire of separation from me. Mm -hmm. Their hearts are burning, remembering me, my mother, my father, uh, the gopas, gopis, cows, calves, everybody in Vindavan is in tears. I have promised them that I'll come back, but I'm unable to go back because of too many duties in Dwaraka. Hmm. So, I have a request for you, he said. You go to Vindavan and uh, I'm going to give you a message. Take this, he gave him a chit, only one line only he wrote in that. And the beauty is, what, did, what line he wrote is not said in the beginning. After the entire Uddhava's uh, message to Gopis, everything, that time you'll come to know what he said. You know what Krishna wrote in that line? He said that, you know, since I am present in the heart of every living being, oh dear Gopis, I am never separated from you. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing he wrote. But Uddhava gave three months lectures on that one line. His Uddhava's purports. He gave three months, he spoke to gopis on that one line. So, Krishna told Uddhava, I am very sure if you go and meet the Vajabhasis and give them assurance that I will very soon come back and then talk to them, they will be pacified. And then you come back and tell me how they responded. See, Krishna is such an intelligent Lord. Don't think he just wants Uddhava to go and give the message. He has another plan, uh, which he uh, will reveal to Uddhava later. What is it? In the Bhagavatam it is said, uh, later on Krishna will tell Uddhava that uh, in the north portion near Himalayas, Himalayan range, there is Badrika Ashrama, correct? Hmm? There is Badrinath, Kedarnath. In the Badrinath, there were many rishis living there. And these rishis had given an invitation to Krishna 
when Krishna was in the planet. Krishna could not go to meet them. So Krishna told Uddhava, these rishis living in that spot of Badrikasham, they know all religious principles. They are the purest of the brahmanas. They are very exalted. They are also my devotees also. They are exalted devotees. The only thing they don't know is Vraja Bhakti. Spontaneous, loving, devotional service. They don't know that. They know Vaikuntha Bhakti, they know. But Vraja Bhakti, the nature of Vraja Bhakti is Raga Bhakti. They don't know. And I want you to go and teach them that. But before you teach them that, I want you to go to Vrindavan and come. Why? That is a hidden confidential message because even you have to learn Vraja Bhakti. <laughs> Therefore, you go, get each one, teach us one while being taught by one. Who can say that? Yeah, that means you get taught by Vrajabhasis and you then go and teach the saintly people hmm, in the Badrikashrama. That way, it's like, you know, uh, one uh, in, in one stone you get two mangoes. Hmm? One is not uh, two mangoes, three mangoes. I'll tell you what is it. One is the Vrajabhasis will be pacified, Uddhava goes. Correct, no? Plus, Uddhava will also get an upgradation in his realization of Krishna Bhakti. Hmm. He is a very great Krishna Bhakta. I told you how dear he is to Krishna. Still, uh, because of his scholarship, uh, because of being a very greatly learned scholar, uh, Krishna wanted him to taste the simplicity and innocence of the Vrajabhasis. He said, let, him, let this fellow get a direct perception of this. Go to Vrindavan and experience. His heart will melt in ecstasy when he sees the Vrajabhasis. So, Krishna, that is the second reason. One reason is to pacify the Vajabhasis. Second reason is to educate Uddhava in the Vajabhakti. Third is to educate the Badrikashrama Rishis. So that they will not miss Krishna. Although Krishna said, I am unable to go personally there. But if you go and educate them, they will get what is needed for them the most. So, in this way, Lord does many things in... One, one shot only. Uh, so here you find uh, um, he's clasping the hand of Uddhava and speaking to him confidentially. It's called as Guhya Makyati Prachati. So Guhya Makyati Prachati means you know, inquiring confidentially and hearing from an experienced person. That is called as Guhya Makyati Prachati. We will explain more about that. Of course, this is uh, uh, Krishna Sudama's service was so pleasing to Guru. Guru glorified them. In a, that is another topic, I will not get into this topic. He is blessing them, you see, because they rendered service together in friendship. Trishtoham bodhvija sreshtaha. Everybody? Satya santu manorataha. Chandam tayatayamani. Bhavantiha paratracha. Oh, my dear disciples, Krishna and Sudama, uh, oh, best of the Brahmanas, I am completely satisfied with your dealings with one another. When the spiritual master sees that two disciples are dancing together, they are uh, sharing prasadam together, and they are smiling at each other, then Guru's heart becomes completely peaceful. Now I have no worry uh, in this... Uh, I am leaving behind the mission of Prabhupada in the hands of disciples who are non-envious, who are non-quarrelsome, who are friendly with one another. Uh, they are innocent like children. So I am very peaceful, I am very satisfied. Then that satisfied Guru gives blessing to the disciples. And those disciples advance very fast in spiritual life. And on the other hand, when disciples become envious of one another, sometimes, you know, one big disciple comes to Guru and says, Maharaj, he's like that, he's this, bur, 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 kur, 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 like that, he speaks. Huh? And then, please, you tell him, you explain to him. Then the Guru calls the other big disciple. Both are like two elephants. Huh? And then this disciple, he says, hey, please understand that devotee, please don't do this, he's very disturbed with you. Maharaj, he has told you one side of the story, now I will tell you my side. <laughs> you hear. And both are making guru chutney in between. Can <laughs> <laughs> guru be peaceful? Huh? Once Prabhupada told the story, 
one guru was lying down and two disciples were sitting on either side massaging the feet. So one disciple told the other disciple, do you know I have got a degree in massaging? Nowadays they have a massaging course also. I have gone to the university and I have got a degree in massaging. So therefore you see how I massage the feet of guru. You are a novice, you don't know anything. Uh, you are a, you work on thumb rule. Uh, then the other fellow said, see, I got training from my grandfather in the village, he said. And that, uh, another day Guru told me that your massaging is so relieving to my body. I got appreciation from Guru, you are only a degree holder, you know only theory. <laughs> I know practical, he was telling. So in the course of the dialogue between one another, both the guys got very angry, they were fuming at each other and quarreling with each other. So. Then this degree holder got uh, annoyed. He said, you are insulting my degree. So he pinched the other feet. <laughs> then that other fellow on the other side, he pinched this feet. <laughs> and Guru jumped up. <clears throat> he said, Are you guys in your quarrel, I am in trouble. <laughs> Correct. No? So, so Guru becomes very pleased when he sees disciples are non-quarrels and non-envious. When they are, uh, when they are happy. So I have seen many times my spiritual master. <clears throat> One time, uh, Shruti Dharma Prabhu, how many of you know from London? Very famous, isn't it? He came to Bombay. So <clears throat> Maharaj called Shruti Dharma Prabhu. He called me and he put both of us tightly embraced like this. He said, he said, Radhesham, you are very strict disciplinarian. You are known for rules, regulations and strict behavior. You emphasize on character, you emphasize on strict attendance and punctuality and all that. And here is another great uh, uh, personality, Shruti Dharma Prabhu. Hmm? He said he is known for dealing with biggest leaders of London and he is such a, a loving heart he has, uh, such a spontaneous affection he shows to people. Hmm? He said, uh, you know, anybody who comes uh, to Bhaktivedanta Manor, it's a one-way traffic, they cannot go back. Once they connect with him, they are gone. They have to be with him lifelong. He's such a loving, caring, spontaneous Vaishnava. So he said, I am rubbing both of you together so that you know you get you get what he has and he will get what you have. <laughs> so, same thing he did with me in Slovenia, there is one president Ananta Prabhu. Maharaj caught him also and embraced me. So, uh, the way I was telling you, uh, Guru feels very great joy if devotees actually learn from each other. Hmm? They are in a mood of always uh, open-minded for learning from one another. And also, sometimes Guru may call one of the disciples and ask, what do you think about the other devotee? And if this devotee is able to profusely glorify the devotee without any interruption, hmm? You can glorify, he will watch, how, long, how much can you glorify, let us see. Because you cannot glorify for a long time unless your heart is clean. If you have some inhibition, we may glorify a little bit and then we'll get shut up, we won't be able to. Like there are so many people who do a lot of prajalpa, blah, 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 they're chatterbox, you know. You tell them, Prabhu, wait one minute, I have one question for you, can I glorify Krishna, you know. Immediately, as if you have put a band-aid in their mouth. They cannot speak one word of glorification of Krishna. So, if we are envious, we cannot glorify. Not possible. Or our glorification will be artificial. It will be superficial. Or it will be glorification of some superficial abilities. So, therefore, in this purport we read, it was mentioned that Vaishnava means we should be non-envious and non-quarrelsome. That was the first part of the purport, which I explained. And when Guru sees that, he becomes very pleased. See, the Guru is blessing with both hands. Huh? He's telling Krishna Sudama, Tushto Hambo Dvijasreshta. I am very pleased with both of you. Hmm. Satya Santu Manorat. May all your innermost desires be fulfilled. What is the innermost desire of the soul that we express to Tulsi Maharani every day? Isn't it? What is that? Moriya Vilash. Vilash Kunja Diyavas. Nayane Heribo Sada. Yugalarupa Rashi, that's the innermost desire. When will the time come when I will serve the divine couple, Sri Sri Radha and Krishna, you know, offer them betel nuts, offer them a garland, 
offer them chandan. Huh? When will I behold their beautiful forms and serve their lotus feet? Huh? So this innermost desire will be fulfilled when Guru is pleased. Yes, sir, Prasadat. Bhagavad Prasada. Guru becomes very pleased. So Guru is pleased with them. Satya Santu Manorata Ayasani. And one more blessing is giving them. Chandamsi Ayata Yamani Bhavantviha Paratracha. He is saying that whatever learnings you achieved through the lectures, through the hearing and all that in the classes, may that knowledge be ever fresh for you. Huh? Even after many decades, huh? you spent 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years also in Krishna consciousness. Still the knowledge you learned from Prabhupada's books, if it is enlivening to you, huh? if it is thrilling for you, if it is touching your heart, and uh, making you relish it and repeat it, mm -hmm. that means you are blessed by Guru. Mm -hmm. So, your Guru is blessing, because sometimes what happens, material uh, commodities and spiritual commodities have two opposite qualities. Mm -hmm. Material commodities, for example, you cook something in the morning, in the evening it will be stinking, it will not be good, it gets spoiled. Your flower is blossoming in the morning, even if it's a dried up flower, correct? You cut an apple and keep on the table, it becomes oxidized. You will see that. If you keep a knife on the table without use for a week, it gets rusted. You will see that. That's the nature of the material world, to degrade. Fresh things don't remain fresh. They become dull. Even very uh, handsome looking people, when they get old, when tooth are gone and eyes go into the socket and ears are hard of hearing, you know, wrinkles come in the body, the beauty is no more there. Hmm? Because the beauty is lost over a period of time. So the nature of the material world is, the freshness is only for a short while. Exactly like when you take a branch of a tree, cut it and bring it here and put it, it will be fresh only for a short while. Because it is binname prakriti rashtada. It's a separated energy from Krishna. Therefore the freshness doesn't last for a long time. In material world, if anything is ever fresh, for all time, that is only spiritual items, you will see. Hmm? For example, your attraction to the deities, hmm? day after day, month after month, year after year, you dress them, worship them, decorate them, and you are dancing in front of them. You never get tired of doing that service. Hmm? Similarly, you are chanting the holy names of Hare Krishna. Hmm? We may all wonder, actually, Hare Krishna is boring, it's becoming difficult for me to chant. But imagine if somebody, you are caught by some uh, enemy country, and they snatch away your bead bag and say, now, we have a rule that if you chant Hare Krishna, we will kill you. Huh? Then it will be very difficult for you to not chant, correct, no? Huh? Even when uh, some of those Russians were put in the jail, you know, the bead bags were stretched, snatched away. And then when the bread came, with the bread they made beads. And then with that they were chanting, correct? Huh? Same way in Australia also, some devotees were caught by the police and they were put behind the bars. They asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, if you want to come out on bail, they are charging very heavy amount. Prabhupada said, why should you come out? <laughs> you know? Really, only the president was allowed, I mean, president was allowed to come out on jail. All of us were in, 10, 10, 15 devotees were in the jail. And, uh, and they didn't know what to tell Prabhupada. And uh, then uh, Prabhupada said, wherever you are, chant Hare Krishna. Uh, then in the jail, they started Mangalarti. <laughs> Everything. See, there is no altar, there's no, there's nothing is there. But everything, they, they did like Manas Puja. How, for example, one devotee will just do the hand like this. Shri Shri Radha Madan Mohan Ki. And, and all of them will offer obeisances. You know? And then there's no everything, I'm just move the hand, they'll move. You know, Mangala Arati, Samsara Davanala, they would sing like that. And one devotee will be doing Arati like this. And everybody else has to assume that the Lord is there. Huh? Like that. And they uh, assumed a Tulasi Maharani also in the middle, and the Sargamamulated Tulasi, they watered Tulasi, everything in the mind only. And all the other uh, people in the jail were amazed by this new technique of worship. Huh? Everybody, and many started chanting Hare Krishna. So much so that even the policeman, when he has to go into the jail, he would re leave his shoes outside and go inside. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? And all the thieves started becoming Hare Krishna, so the police people became afraid. Huh? They said, hey, release these people as soon as possible. Huh? <laughs> this happened in three, four places in the world like this. Devotees practicing Krishna consciousness inside the jail. Huh? So, but why did I say this? You said, blessed devotees are not. What do you say? They're blessed. Huh? So, 
you will see that if Guru is pleased, Asya Prasadat Bhagavad Prasado. Huh? When Guru blesses the disciple, the Krishna consciousness will ever, it will be ever fresh. Hmm. So the reason I told you this was, if somebody snatches away with Bidhubhag, you will cry. Huh? Because without chanting, it's not possible for us to live our lives. That goes to show that you indeed love chanting. But our difficulty is due to the anarthas. Huh? When anarthas are clear, the chanting will become more and more relishable. Hmm. Similarly, we are studying Prabhupada books. Like, you know, one man came, one came to Pune. I speak one lecture monthly once called Krishna Sayana. You know, I was about to begin. Some three, four hundred people were sitting. Um, one, two hours we do program. So one man came straight to me. You know, sir, you are the speaker. I want to ask you, what is the pastime you are going to speak today? I said, Krishna Sudama. Oh, that I already heard when I was a small kid. He <laughs> said. Uh, I said, hearing as a kid is not the same as hearing from Bhagavatam verse by verse. And that too, different speakers may give different perspectives, isn't it? Different uh, realizations and everything. Same pastime you can hear any number of times. This is not like a uh, read and throw novel. Bhagavatam, see, Bhagavata is, Bhagavata Purana is one of the oldest Puranas. But we keep it in the altar, we shower flowers, you know. You, know, you have made an altar for the books because it's a very sacred thing, holy thing it is, isn't it? And also, it can be read again and again. Newspaper you buy in the morning and evening, it will go to the dustbin. Huh? It has no value. There is, because the news that newspaper carries has no more value than that. Huh? Whereas Srimad Bhagavatam, every day you can recite one verse. Like today we are reciting one verse. Huh? And it can be recited for millions and millions of years to come. Because it's a divine thing. If somebody is not able to see divinity in Bhagavatam, he has not achieved the blessings. Huh? He has to find out how I can get the blessings of Guru. So, I will develop taste for Bhagavata. No? It's called as Vasudeva Katharuchi. How does that Katharuchi come? It comes by Sian Mahat Sevaya Vipra Punya Tetani Shevanath. Bhagavatam itself tells a secret. Human reasoning fails, Prabhupada writes. How a person who is the average person in society developed such a strong taste for Bhagavatam, such a strong attraction for the Lord. Common people cannot understand that has come by the blessings of Guru. No? So these two boys were blessed by Guru. That this knowledge you are uh, deriving in the ashrama, that will be ever fresh for you. Bhavantviha huh? paratracha. He is saying, huh? he's saying in this world and in the next, you will always be blissfully Krishna conscious. Hmm. Like that. In this way Krishna is remembering. Uh, now Sudama is speaking back to Krishna. Sri Brahmana Bhuvacha Kimasma Avir Nirvrittam deva deva jagat guru Bhavata satya kamena yesham vaso guru rabhut What could I possibly have failed to achieve, O Lord of the Lords, O Universal Teacher, since I was able to personally live with you, whose every desire is fulfilled at the home of our spiritual master? So here uh, Sudama is expressing his gratitude for Krishna's association. Hmm? I was personally able to live with you and you are called as Apta Kama. You have no desire to be fulfilled. Your desires are always fulfilled. And in the home of the Guru, I was so fortunate to get your association. Imagine you joined a Gurukula and in that Gurukula, 20-30 students are there and one of them happens to be Krishna also. And you are also his classmate. Isn't it? It's a good idea, Krishna being your classmate. How wonderful it will be, isn't it? So, that's what he was cherishing. Hmm? How blessed I am that you are my classmate and I could uh, have loving exchange with you. So, any devotee, in the formative years, we all get association with some young devotees hmm? in the early days. And it, it produces such a deep impression, it is very difficult to forget. Hmm? Even after the past 50 years also, hmm? you cannot forget. Those impressions have... That is why... We should find out for the new upcoming devotees, those who are new devotees, how to give them powerful equal association and senior association and positive spiritual impressions uh, that they will cherish for a long, long time to come. One interesting phenomenon I will tell you for the senior devotees who are preaching. The secret I will tell you. First three years, if you take very good care of a devotee in the formative years, and even if they go to some other place, they will keep on talking about the relationship lifelong, wherever they go. You will see that. Uh, because they will say that this devotee gave me the book, 
Now this devotee taught me, you know, this devotee cared for me. Uh, and that just keeps uh, ringing in their hearts. Uh, that means you produce a positive impression. In the same manner, in the first three, four years, you produce some negative impression. That also they will talk. And they will say that, oh, this person, my Lord, dangerous fellow. Huh? <laughs> hmm? I was saved from this fellow by another person, they will say. Hmm? Correct, no? So, therefore, uh, the equal devotee impression and the senior devotee impressions that people carry, it makes a very deep imprint. Later on, even though sometimes they have to meet the same people, they will be formally respectful, but in their uh, moments of truth, as we say, you know, in the intimate dealing with others, they will reveal some of the unpleasant exchanges they had also. Huh? So, we are, therefore, we all should try to give good experience for one another. Correct, no? When we are growing in devotion service. So, and so that everybody will have some very valuable spiritual moments to cherish in their hearts. Because by cherish, cherishing those moments, you can, that's what he says, no? Mito ratir, mita tushtis, nivrittir mita atmanaha, he says. Mito rati means they develop a mutual attraction for one another. You try this, when say eight or ten devotees come uh, for studying Bhagavatam together, you sit in a circle, you study. And then when you read a paragraph and then every devotee speaks out some realizations, some questions, the other devotees who are watching this devotee, they will say, wow, this devotee has so much conviction in Prabhupada. Huh? This devotee has so much determination in spiritual life. Huh? This devotee is, you know, uh, uh, all, uh, able to have the good habit of sleeping early and rising so early in the morning. Hmm? You know, look at this devotee. As soon as I found some fault with another devotee, this devotee immediately was plugging the ears. He cannot tolerate any fault finding. Hmm? He's such a pure soul. I never knew he's such a pure soul. Hmm? So in this way, you look at other devotees' good qualities and you start admiring. Hmm? And that produces affection for them. Hmm. So, respect, hmm, admiration, you know, gratitude, affection, all these qualities arise in our heart. We call it as a Raga formula. Hmm? You remember this? Respect, admiration, gratitude, appreciation. Admiration is here, appreciation is here. Hmm? Admiration is in the heart and appreciation comes out of the mouth and you have gratitude for the association of devotees. Hmm? and respect for the devotees. These are increased. And when these things are increased, this is where you are going to cultivate the spiritual feelings. Many of us want to know, how does it feel like being a spiritual person? Actually, for spiritual experience, we need Preeti Lakshana. So, otherwise, if we don't have respect for devotees, if we don't admire one another and appreciate one another, you know, the mundane exchange with people is very painful. It is not at all pleasant. Like, atiparichayat, avagnyat. One time, His Grace Kaunte Prabhu came to Pune. And he gave a Bhagavatam class. And after the Bhagavatam class, we all surrounded him. And I profusely glorified him. What amazing deep realizations you brought out, Prabhu. I have never heard such a lecture ever before in my life and everything. So he smiled and he said, can I tell you one truth? He asked me, yes. He said, when you hear from an occasional visitor, it is always like this. <laughs> yeah. And you hear from a local preacher, somebody who, whom you regularly know, huh? but you cannot appreciate like that so much. And the reason he told was, we see the local devotees with an eye of uh, fault finding. We know that, Are, I know this devotee. <laughs> this devotee is... This devotee is lazy. That devotee is crazy. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have such notions with us. Uh, with that notion, as soon as they sit in the Bhagavatam, you know, asana, they sit. They are singing, Jayaradha Madhav. You know, what is he going to say? <laughs> I know what this fellow, I already heard a dozen classes. He keeps repeating the same thing. Like that we feel. And some new, new speaker is coming from outside. People will catch their dhoti come running, you know. They'll be bringing a notebook, pen, everything, you know, because uh, some, another Prabhuji, Mata, some other place they are coming from. Yeah. So this is called Ati Parichayat Avagyat. Hmm? That means familiarity breeds contempt. We say. Actually, familiarity breeds should breed love. It shouldn't breed contempt. When familiarity breeds uh, contempt, when the outlook is material, then it breeds contempt. When outlook is spiritual, familiarity will breed 
Love. Huh? How familiar the bridge love, I will tell you. Let us take the example of Ramananda Raya and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hmm? You will see how the familiarity bridge love in that case, I will show you. Just a minute. See here. This is, who is this? Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Raya. So some of you uh, who may not be knowing about uh, Ramananda Raya, I need to say a few words. Ramananda Raya was governor of Madras in those days. Actually Madras means uh, it was at that time Andhra and Tamil Nadu put together. Huh? That was called Madras in those days. Now Madras they call us Chennai now. And then Andhra, Andhra also has become two now. Telangana and Andhra it has become now. Earlier it was all one province. And he was the head, uh, governor, huh? Ramananda Raya. He was a simple Shudra family, mm -hmm. but he was a pure devotee of Krishna. Mm -hmm. And he was a good friend of uh, Sarubhavama Bhattacharya. One day, Sarubhavama Bhattacharya told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, My dear Lord, I had a very good friend of mine, Ramananda Rai. You know, he always used to speak about Krishna and uh, Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan. I was such a fool. I offended him, ridiculed him, because I was a Mayavadi. I was a dry impersonalist. Now that you have completely defeated me and made me a Krishna devotee, I am uh, reflecting back what a wonderful personality he was. Huh? I can tell you, you will really enjoy his association. Hmm? You are going to South India to preach. You should meet Ramananda Rai one-on-one. -on -one. Don't miss that. He lives in the Godavari Bank. Huh? You should go and meet him. Although he is a very, very big personality, you can take my name, uh, take my reference, and you spend time with him, and you come back and tell me what was your experience with him. See, we also do that right now. For example, you want to introduce a newcomer. He is going to some particular city. Hey, you are going to that city. You should go to the Iskon temple and meet that particular devotee. Huh? And don't miss the opportunity. He is a very busy fellow, but still don't leave him. Huh? You have to, you know, you send a letter to him or what's a message to him that uh, I have told you to meet. You should meet. And then when that person goes and meets him, you are super confident that if this fellow meets that fellow, this fellow has to become devotee. Yeah? Because such a great soul he is, you have respect for the devotee. Then this fellow goes and meets him and when he comes back, you ask him, how was the experience? He says, what can I say? What a person he was. Eh? Prabhuji, now I might tell her, Kantimala, everything has come, bid bag. You know, <laughs> he has made me a devotee. <laughs> you have seen like that? Isn't it? We tell people, how many of you have done, you told somebody to meet some devotee? Yes? Correct, no? We do that. Therefore, Sarampatacharya also said like that to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu said, definitely, why not? Now here Mahaprabhu is going now, you see. You all can repeat after me. Rai kahe sarva bhauma kare vritya jnana Parakshaha morahite haya savadhana Tara grupaya bhairo tomara darshana Aji Safala Haila Mora Manusha Janama. He's saying, Saruma Kare Brithegyan. Oh, how wonderful it is, Lord Chaitanya, that he has remembered his servant. He said, Who is his servant? He says, I am his servant and he has remembered me. That means Ramanandra has said, Sarumbatacharya is his master. This is, should be our mood also. Huh? Actually, see, wherever Gaurang Prabhu goes, he tells people that Radhishan Prabhu inspired me. He speaks lies. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I know, one family were telling me that, uh, you know, Gaurang Prabhu told us, Prabhuji, that you only brought him to Krishna consciousness. And I laughed. I said, what is he saying? Huh? You know, me, me and him, we both were attending in 1991, uh, as well as Bhakti Maharaj's lecture. We are friends. Huh? Of course, in age, he is B.Tech and I was in M.Tech. I may be a little, little more age than him, but we came at the same time. And then I told them that uh, actually when uh, he, uh, he was reading Bhagavad Gita, I was reading small books of Rupa. Then when I started Bhagavad Gita, he went to Bhagavad Gita. When I was reading Bhagavad he was reading C.C. Huh? So in this way, in uh, spiritual education, he was always ahead. 
Later on, uh, in Govardhanako village, Maharaj gave him a big uh, responsibility and he started the Bhaktivedanta Vidya Pitam. So I thought if I go to Vidya Pitam, I can get to hear from him also. So I went to, to Vidya Pitam and uh, uh, when I was 48 years old, I went to Vidya Pitam. Mm -hmm. So Gaurampu was so happy because all the other boys were all 20 to 23 there, age group. And he told them, see, a 48 year old man has come to study. So you guys should never be lazy for writing test. So he used me as a, a tool to make them write test. So what would happen? Two, three months. See, every day we finish one chapter of Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam has 334 chapters. Bhagavatam. So every day we would finish, you know, one, one chapter, three hours you would cover. Morning, uh, 10 to 1. And then afternoon, 3 to 6, you have to do self-study. So some of the students would become a little tired after two, three months, you know. Then our Gauranga Darshan Prabhu would put a call to Gauranga Prabhu, Prabhu please come and inspire them. <laughs> and Gauranga Prabhu would call to me, hey, Radhisham, be available. <laughs> So, and then he would call all of them and say, have you ever seen anybody beyond the age of 45 ready to write test? This fellow is writing test every day. Why you can't write? <laughs> like that he would do. So, I had very good association there. Then I had gone there. So, when I told in some lecture that Gaurang Prabhu inspired me, they got confused. Who inspired whom? <laughs> <laughs> so, actually we all should think like that. Always. Paro, uh, Svato Vara means somebody is superior, you take inspiration from them. Like we have a head pujari in Pune, one Rupa Goswami Prabhu. He came to Krishna consciousness in 1987. Huh? And I came in 1990, 1990, 1991 I came. So I respect him because he is my senior. Hmm? And now he, he may not be a very highly educated devotee. He comes from a village, huh? he's simple. And he respects me because I am president of the Pune temple. So he has reason to respect me. That whatever president says that is final, I will not make independent decision like that he will say. Mm -hmm. And what I will tell people, I will not make independent decision because he is the head pujari and he is senior to me. I will talk to him and say. So people will come and tell me that, Prabhuji, both of you are saying that uh, you would do others what other fellow says. Now we don't know who, who is going to say what. You are telling him, he is telling you. Then we both used to meet. Mm -hmm. So I will tell him, Prabhu, if, if you want this, you can go ahead with that. Then he will ask me, are you really pleased with me or not? So, then after we confirm, then we used to tell the people. Actually, in Vaishnava circle, you, you have always some excuse to respect other Vaishnavas. Either they are, they are more senior to you, you can respect. Or that person may say, I may be senior, but he is more knowledgeable, so I respect him. Or he is a senior, I mean, he is in the position of authority. Say, one of you, your junior may be given a leading role in a festival management committee, and you may have to report to him. It has happened any time. Can it happen or not? Yes. It can happen. So we have to respect them for the authority they hold. So here also you find, he's saying, Sarvoma kare vritya jnan, parakshaya morahite haya savadan. Just see how wonderful my friend is, that although he is geographically far away, he is thinking of my welfare. Just see his good heart, like that he's telling. Tara kripaya payanu tomara darshan. By my friend Sarum Bhattacharya's connection I had with him, because of that, because of his mercy, I am getting your darshan. Like that he is telling. Aji safala haila mora manisha janma. He is saying. Today my human form of life has become perfect. Sarvavame tomara kripa ataraye chinha. Asprishya sparshile haya tara prema dina. Kahantu mi sakshati shwara narayana. Kahantu mi sakshati vishayi shudradama. He is saying, Sarubhame tomara kripa tarechan. You know, because you love Sarubham Bhattacharya so intimately, when you embrace me, actually because of your attachment to him, you are embracing me. Like that is telling. Mm -hmm. Just like, for example, say if any of you have a sister, then the sister's child, you see, you may catch the sister's child and tightly embrace because you have affection for your sister. Correct, no? Because you see the child as extension of your sister, so you show affection to the child also. Correct, no? In the same manner he's saying that actually I am Asprishya. Asprishya means what? Untouchable. I am a Shudra, I am a governor of Madras, I am a politician. Huh? Asprishya, but you have touched me and embraced me. I am shocked. 
बिकॉज यू आर अ सन्यासी यू आर ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटी हाँ एंड तार प्रेमा दीना यू हैव बिकम कंट्रोल्ड बाय द लव ऑफ सर्व भट्टाचार्य फॉर यू प्रेम आदीना यू हैव बिकम आदीना टू हिज प्रेमा दैर फॉर यू हैव एम्ब्रेस्ड मी आई दैट इज सेम सी हाउ मेच्योर यू एज कहाँ तुम्हें वैर यू आर यू आर साक्षात ईश्वर नारायण यू आर द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड कहाँ मुई हु एम आई राज सेवी विषय शूद्र आदम I am a political man, and I am a sense gratifier, and I am a fallen shudra. Like that is telling. So how humble he is, considering himself insignificant, and how much he is glorifying his friends or whatever charya. How much is he glorifying Lord Chaitanya? Aman istari te tomar yeha gamana. परम दयालु तुम्हें पति तपावना अमान स्तर इतने तुम्हारा यहाँ आगमन यू हैव कम हियर टू डिलीवर मी दैट इज योर काइंडनेस परम दयालु तुम्हें यू आर वेरी वेरी मर्सिफुल पति तपावना आई हैव यू नो आई एम सो फॉर्चुनेट दैट यू आर अ डिलीवर ऑफ द फॉलन एंड यू आर द पति तपावन एंड आई एम पति नाइस कॉम्बिनेशन यू नो सो यू हैव कम टू डिलीवर मी therefore we sing you know shri krishna chaitanya prabhu daya karo more tum vina ke dayalu jagat samsare patita pavana hetu तवयवातार मोसम पति प्रभु न पाए वी सही यू आर अ पति पावन एंड देर इज नो वन फॉर मोर फॉलन दैन मी मोसम पति प्रभु ना पाई बे आर माई डियर लॉर्ड यू विल नो वेर गेट अ फेलो लाइक मी आई एम फर्स्ट क्लास कैंडिडेट फॉर यू फर्स्ट क्लास फॉलन सोल Others may be little fallen, not as much fallen as me. He is saying, uh, but if you really want to get the high quality fallen fellow, huh? most fallen fellow, I am the right person. That is another very nice song. That is Murdanga. Somebody can play Murdanga. Gauranga Karuna Karo Dina Hina Jane. मौसम पति प्रभु नहीं त्रिभुवन गौरंग करुणा दिन दिन
You know, your name is Patita Pavan, but if you don't deliver a fallen person like me, then how will your name become proven? Huh? Neither is saying. So, therefore, here also is saying, Amanistarite toma rihagamana. Paramadayalu to me, Patita Pavana. Amara Sange Brahmana di Sahasreka Jana. Tomara Darshan is a vara dravi bhutamana. Krishna Krishna Namashun is a vara vadane. Sabara Anga Pulakita Ashruna Yane. See, he is the governor of Madra, so naturally, when he comes for bathing in the morning in the Godavari, there are a thousand people are accompanying him. And many musicians are also, you know, playing the instruments, and Brahmanas are chanting the Vedic mantras, and some people are carrying his dress and other things. And that's how the kings had a very royal, uh, grand uh, treatment. So then he will, when he's taking bath also, he will be hearing songs and other things. Huh? Taking the bath and he comes out, then afterward they'll give him the dress, he will wear the dress. So here along with him, a thousand brahmanas have come. You know, he's saying, Amara Sanghe Brahmanadi Sahasra Ekajan. 
Brahman Adi means along with Brahmanas, some soldiers, some other um, ministers, everybody is accompanying him. It's like, a girl, like for example, a chief minister or a prime minister, that kind of post here he was holding. Tomara Darshane, Sabara Dravi Bhutamana. When they saw your sight, my Lord, Chaitanya, immediately their hearts have become molten, melted heart. So from their mouths I am seeing Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. They are actually chanting huh, in great ecstasy. Huh? You will find when great, uh, when one's bhakti is awake and then one chants Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna 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 He Bali Krishna 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 He Krishna 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 He Krishna 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 Like this, the person's heart will ring with the holy name when they come across great devotees. Like uh, some, uh, when we were in the college days, we would go, go to the temple, the Chaupara temple, and uh, Paramahita Radhanath Maharaj would be doing Kirtan. So very beautiful tunes he would sing. He'd be dancing and there'd be tears in the eyes huh, sometimes. He would wonder. Huh? But later on when I read uh, uh, Bhaktar Samrat Sindhu, I got one information there that even though we have a lot of impurities in our heart, uh, when great devotees sing the holy name, uh, there is something called ratiyabhas, uh, which means the devotion from their heart comes out like waves uh, and attacks us. And that evokes spiritual feelings momentarily. And we may tend to think that we have become pure devotees. Uh, we haven't become pure devotees, but great devotees, our devotion attacks us and produces tears. And then after the kirtan is over, dancing is over, prasad is over, you go back, then again we are back to square A. Isn't it? You can see that. But certainly it is not useless because that experience gives you conviction in spiritual life. It gives you determination. It gives you higher taste. It gives you a longing to again go back to devotional service again and take the path of spiritual life more seriously. Correct? No? So, therefore, these brahmanas are not pure devotees. He is saying, Amara Sangya Brahmana Sahasrika Jandaya have come. But Tomaru Darshan is Sabar, Dharvibhutavan. Their hearts have become melted. And the result of their hearts melting is what? They all are chanting what names? Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Namashini, Sabara Vadane. Hmm? All of them are chanting. That goes to show that Sabara Anga Pulakita Ashrunayane. Tears are coming in their eyes hmm? and their hair is standing on end. Hmm? Ashta Satyaka Vikara is happening in their bodies. He is saying. Now Lord Chaitanya is going to speak for his turn. Hear what he says. Prabhu Kahe Tumi Maha Bhagavatottama. Tomara darshane sabar drava hailamana. Hey Ramanandrai, what are you talking? You are going on glorifying me. You are a Mahabhagavad devotee. Therefore, Tomara darshane, by taking your darshan, all these people's hearts have become melted. Not by taking my darshan. It is whose influence? Your influence is telling. Anye Raki Kata Bhimaya Vadi Sanyasi Ami Hato Maras Parshe Krishna Preme Bhasi What else can be the truth? Because I am a simple, I am a Maya Vadi Sanyasi. I have taken uh, Diksha in the Bharati Sampradaya uh, from Kesha Bharati. So I am a Maya Vadi Sanyasi. But even though I am a Mayavadi Sanyasi, I am Nirvesha Shivadi. Amiha Tomar Sparshi, by your touch, even I am floating in Krishna conscious bliss. If you can influence someone like me, why can't these other Brahmanas be influenced? Like that is telling. Is it true? No, he is not a Mayavadi Sanyasi. 
At that time, the Mayavadis were very famous and prominent. So Mahaprabhu purposely took a connection in the Mayavadi Sampradaya so that he will get a chance to reach out to the people. Hmm? But actually, Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself in the mood of Shumitra Adharani. Hmm? So, and then he say, Yei jani katina mora hridaya shodite Sarva bhauma kahile tomare milite Actually, my heart, you know, it was very, very hard like a stone. And uh, Tharum Bhattacharya uh, told me that, don't worry, your hard heart will be softened and it will be purified if you associate with uh, Ramananda Rai. Like that is saying. Therefore, he has sent me to you to get my heart cleansed and uh, purified and softened. For that, yes, you are the doctor and somebody has recommended me to go to your doctor uh, to cure my disease of hard-heartedness due to Maya Vada. He's saying. Ei mata duhe stuti kare duhara guna Duhe duhara darshane anandita mana In this way both of them were praising one another genuinely, you know, inoffensively uh, and innocently and there was not even an iota of any flattery. Huh? There was no cheating. Sometimes people say, Prabhu, you are a pure devotee. You know, people say like that. Yeah. Why pure devotee? Because I want gulab jamun from you. Huh? <laughs> because you are only serving gulab jamun. Give me two more. Huh? So it was not a flattery. Huh? It was actually coming from the heart. Duhen duhar darshane anandita Both felt great bliss in seeing each other. So actually many of us, when we see the other Vaishnavas, we may offer obeisances to them out of etiquette. That is also good, but that is not enough. What we feel for each other is very important. When we see from a distance, a Vaishnava, when you look at a Vaishnava, what is the first thought comes? Are these followers come, you will take my time. Do we feel like that? Or we feel, oh, you are very delighted to see the Vaishnavas. When you see each other. Actually, we can only feel such delight if we become innocent and pure and simple. When I was giving one class somewhere, one Mataji asked a question, Prabhuji, how can we get back our early day innocence? Huh? Now we have become very crooked now. Huh? You know, years have passed. Uh, and why have we become crooked and how we can become innocent? That is a good question. We have become crooked because of offensive mentality and sinful activities. Huh? So the sins and offenses make us crooked and mischievous and sarcastic and sweet talking on face, bad mouthing on back and all those things happens. So we should uh, follow the four regulatory principles strictly and we also should uh, stop offending Vaishnavas huh? and profusely glorify Krishna from the Shastras and also, as I told you, without quarreling with devotees and without fault finding in devotees uh, and blaspheming devotees, one should render services and chant the holy name inoffensively. Hmm? Then by doing these things, the early day innocence will come back. Huh? So, in this way you find they were glorifying one another like this. Huh? And they were feeling anandita mana. They felt great bliss seeing each other's darshan. Rai kahe yeha ami kichunai jani Tumi yakao se kahe ami vani Tomara Sikshaya Padi and Ashuka Pat Sakshati Shwara to me, Kebuja Tomara Nat Yami Kitchenajani. Oh, my dear Lord, I don't know anything. To make our Seika Yamiwani. Whatever you will make me speak, that's all I can speak. How is it like? He's saying, Tomara Sikshaya Padi. You will speak and I will just repeat, like a parrot. If you teach a parrot, say Hare Krishna, you will say Hare Krishna. Isn't it? So, whatever I have heard from you, learned from you, that's all I can repeat. Sakshat Ishwara to me, you are Sakshat Krishna. Why are you doing this drama with me? You know, praise, praising me like this, I don't feel comfortable. You know, you are praising me. I am an insignificant personality. See, who is Ramanandrai? Ramanandrai is Arjuna. And 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna. Hmm. Sometimes this Krishna has a tendency to behave in very amazing ways. Like for example, when he goes to the forest of Vindavan, he is telling Balram Bhaya, see, the cuckoos are cooing and welcoming you. The peacocks are dancing and welcoming you. The deers are showing love laden glances to welcome you. The trees are extending their branches, giving flowers and fruits to you. Please pluck those flowers, wear it in your turban, pluck those fruits and eat them, so they will be very happy. In this way, he is, uh, he is praising Balaram. Balaram is just watching and listening. <laughs> Actually, all these creatures in the forest, are they giving to Balaram or Krishna? Krishna. Mm, they are, their relationship is with Krishna only. Mm. But Krishna is, you know, sometimes you go to somebody's home, they will say, you know, you will ask them, can I sit here? This is your home. You can sit wherever you want. No, they say like that. Just see, no. <laughs> like that Krishna is speaking to Balram. Hmm. Krishna is a very amazing personality. Hmm. Hmm. Like you see, like you see, when uh, one day one day Narada came and gave Krishna one Parijata flower. And Krishna said, Rukmini Satyabhama Abhyam Sahitam Krishna Mahasri, we say, no? Rukmini Satyabhama, both are standing on either side. Is Krishna told him, see, there are two queens standing with me and you're giving me one flower. <laughs> you know? And then he asked Narada, to whom should I give this? Narada said, that is not my problem, it's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> so Krishna was wondering what to do. So he looked at both of them, then he gave it to Rukmini. Then Satyabhama asked, her, that means, my, my dear Lord, you don't like me? So you didn't give me. Lord said, no, no, no. I have given her one flower, I'm going to give you one full tree. So you will have uh, thousands of lovers. She said, ah, that's a good deal, she said. <laughs> and then later on, Krishna once uh, called Satyabhama and said, hmm, now I am planning to go to heaven. Huh? So then I am thinking of plucking a parijata flower plant and bringing for you. Hmm? So do you want me to bring it for you or do you want to accompany me? He asked her. She said, oh, it's a good opportunity. I will also accompany you. Huh? Then in the Garuda, he brought the Garuda and Krishna Satyabhama, both of them sat. And he said, before going to heaven, there is one very important business to be done. So he come with me. So she, he took her to Prag Jyotishpur. Hmm? Prag Jyotishpur, there was Bahumasura living. See, this Bahumasura was born from Bhumi, huh? Bhumi Devi. And the Bhumi Devi is an expansion of Satyabhama. Hmm? So... Lord has three Shaktis, you may be knowing. Bhu Devi, Sri Devi, Nila Devi, correct, no? So, Bhu Devi is an expansion of Satyabhama. And Krishna has a reason why he took Satyabhama there. So, when Krishna crossed the moat, moat means the, the, you know, the lake around the palace, where there are infested with the crocodiles, man-eating crocodiles. Of course, Krishna didn't have to cross the lake, he just flew over it. You know, he came in a plane of Garuda, you know. And then there were also walls with electrified walls also. Huh? Barbed wires and electrified walls. If anybody touches it, they'll get a shock. Huh? So all this, this fellow had done. Who? Romasraya. And he had one Murad demon also. Krishna first entered straight into the uh, this thing, palace compound, and he attacked the Murad demon and finished him. So he came to be called as Murari. Huh? Yeah. And after that, many other warriors came to fight. So... Uh, uh, then immediately Bahumasura came out with a big army. When he started sending volleys of arrows on Krishna, hmm? and Krishna and Satyabhama were sitting on the Garuda, and Krishna was not able to like, uh, withstand it. And Satyabhama was asking, what are you doing? Attack him! Uh, so why Krishna didn't attack Bahumasura? He was waiting. Because in case Krishna kills Bahumasura, Satyabhama will raise a big objection, because he is son of Bhudevi, who is expansion of Satyabhama. And Krishna said, my problem is he has a connection to you, therefore I was thinking, should I attack him, what do you say? She said, I am giving you permission to attack now, she said. <laughs> Krishna said, with your permission, I'll kill him now. Okay. <laughs> so that tomorrow you won't complain to me. <laughs> therefore he took her. See, many times if you want something, you know, instead of you saying that I want this, you create a situation where your wife will want it. <laughs> <laughs> And then tell the wife, I obediently will follow what you say. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> because if she wants it, nobody can stop it, including you also. How I know this, te I, this technique, of course I have three sisters also, I know. But apart from that, I will tell you how I learned this. One day I was going in the train distributing books. I gave the books to a man. 
and he liked the bhagavad gita and he wanted to buy it he asked his wife you know you know can we take this she said no no nothing doing we don't want she said why are you we have two, you have two big luggages and i have two luggage we have a baby also how can we carry all these things i told this man don't worry i will push this book into your luggage i said but she said no 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 luggage will become more heavy <laughs> i said you will be heavy with god you know you are carrying god only with you bhagavata is not different from krishna i tied all those things she said nothing doing so I, i could not somehow convince this couple then i went ahead to the next two bogies now i changed my technique Instead of showing Bhagavad Gita to man, I showed to the wife. <laughs> and they also had similar luggage. Nowadays, people carry such a huge luggage as this wheel bag. They carry, you can even put them inside also, I think. Huh? Such a big bag you carry, you've seen, no? So they were also having big luggage. Huh? But then I gave it to my wife's father, and she liked it. Colorful pictures, she liked it very much. Then she kept it in the, inside the bag, and she told the husband, pay the money. She said. <laughs> and that fellow paid the money. Because when a wife says, husband will obey. Same thing with Radharani says, then Krishna will accept us. Correct, no? So now coming back to this past time of Satyabhama, Satyabhama told Krishna, attack him now. Then Krishna attacked the, uh, the, that fellow, Bhaumasara. You know? Then he took, I mean, uh, the Varuna's uh, umbrella and Aditi's kundal. Then he went to the heavenly planets and then on the way back he gave her Parijata. He gave her. Hmm? It is a beautiful pastime, it is. Mm-hmm. So, uh, here he is saying that, Tomara sikshaya padi yena shukapat. I am simply like a parrot, my Lord. Whatever you make me speak, I speak. Sakshat. Ah, I told you that Krishna and Arjuna, correct, no? Uh, Chaitra Mahaprabhu is Krishna and uh, Ramandra is Arjuna. It's like, you know, Krishna always puts his devotees at a higher pedestal than him. He's putting Arjuna on the back and he's driving his chariot. Here also he's praising Arjuna. Uh, his devotee. He derives some special delight in teasing the devotees because sometimes when he, uh, like he was teasing Rukmini once, you know that? Um, she dropped her, uh, that uh, chamar uh, when he was teasing Rukmini. Mm-hmm. So, Krishna is a mischievous lord. Uh, so, he is playful like this sometimes. So, sometimes he praises the devotee more than what the devotee is. Actually, he only empowers the devotee. Uh, and then he praises the devotee like anything. Like for example, imagine your father and son are fighting a battle and father dhadal, he falls and the son is sitting on the belly of the father and says, Papa, I have defeated you now. And he says, ah, yeah, you are very powerful. Huh? You know, you are like Mike Tyson, who am I? Huh? You know. So, Lord uh, agrees to be defeated by the love of the devotee and he praises the devotee. Therefore, the devotee feels uncomfortable. Huh? Yeah. And then he is saying, हृदय प्रेरणा कर जिह्वाय कहो वाणी के कहिए भाल मंद किचु नहीं जानी यू आर गिविंग इंस्पिरेशन इन माई हार्ट एंड यू आर मेकिंग माई टंग वाइब्रेट लाइक वाइब्रेट एंड स्पीक सम नाइस थिंग्स बट की कहिए बाल मंद किचु ना जाना आई डोंट नो वॉट इज गुड वॉट इज बैड आई डोंट इवन नो वॉट इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ माई माउथ You are making me speak, he is saying. Prabhu kahe maya vadi amita sanyasi Bhakti tatpa nahi jani maya vade bhasi I don't know any bhakti tatpa, uh, my dear Ramandra. I, I am a maya vade sanyasi. Sarva bhavama sangye mora mana nirmala haila You know, by the association of Sarvam Bhattacharya, my heart became purified, he's saying. Whose heart became purified? Everybody knows. Huh? Sarvam Bhattacharya was a Mayavadi. He purified him and he's saying in his association, I got purified. Actually, why great devotees speak like this? Because what Mahaprabhu is saying is not just joking, but seriously they feel that because if Sarvam Bhattacharya didn't come in my life, I would not have got so much chance to glorify Krishna. If I didn't glorify Krishna so much, I would not have become more purified. Therefore, even the speaker should be grateful to audience also. Uh, those who are giving you an opportunity to glorify the lord sarva bhama sange mora mana nirmala haila krishna bhakti tatva ka ha tahare puchila so i asked tarun bhattacharya can you please teach me about krishna bhakti tatva i asked him so what he said 
ते हो कहे आमी नहीं जाने कृष्ण कथा सबे राम आनंद जाने ते हो नहीं ये था but Bhatta Jari told me that I don't know any Krishna Katha, but there is one person whose name is Ahamandra. He knows Krishna Katha very well, but unfortunately he is not here in Odisha now. He is in uh, South India, he said. I mean, he is in uh, Madras. Tomaratai Aila, Tomaramahima Shuniya. Tomay more estutikara sanyasi janiya. I have come here to associate with you, having heard of your Mahima, your glory and influence, my dear Ramandra. Tu hi more stuti kara. You are praising me as a sannyasi and depriving me of your association. Don't do this. Kiba ve prakiba nyasi shudra ke na nae. Yehye Krishna tatpa veta se hi guru haya. Whether you are a Brahmana, you are a Sanyasi, you are a Shudra, it hardly matters. Whoever you may be, anybody who knows Krishna Tattva, you know, he is a Guru. So you are a Guru, he's saying. Yadya Piraya Premi Mahabhagavate Taramana Krishna Maya Nare Achadite Tatapi Prabhura Yicha Parama Prabhala Jani leharaye ramana haila talamala. Raman Rai was a premi bhakta, loving, uh, loving servitor, and Mahabhagava devotee. Taramana Krishna Maya Nare Acharya. Never Maya can cover his heart to think that Mahaprabhu is an ordinary person. He very clearly knew that Mahaprabhu is none other than Krishna. Huh? And Mahaprabhu is in whose bhava? And Ramandra is in Vishaka Bhav. So it's like meeting of, you know, Radharani and Vishaka also. Or it is like meeting of Radha Krishna with Vishaka also. It is also like meeting of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu meeting uh, Arjuna also. Oh, sorry, Krishna meeting Arjuna also. It's like that. He clearly knew Lord's position. Tatapi Prabhura Yicha Parama Prabhala. The desire of Lord Chaitanya to hear from Ramandra was so strong. When Ramandra understood that, now he is going to question me, I have to answer. So, mana haila tala mala. He felt a little uneasy. Hmm? Like one day I went to my spiritual master's room with three, four other devotees. Maharaj asked, what's your opinion, Radha Shampu, about this? I said, Maharaj, whatever is your opinion is my opinion. <laughs> then Maharaj said, that is all right. What is your personal opinion? He asked. I said, Maharaj, I have no opinion. I said. Then one senior devotee said, hey, you should not say like this. If Guru is asking, your opinion, then you should express. Then I said, Prabhu, what if my opinion is different from his opinion? How can I express that? He said, no, no, no. You can express, he will not accept it anyway. <laughs> 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 but you can, nothing, if he is asking, you should ex experience. Maharaj actually will ask all of us just to give us some encouragement. Finally, he will tell what to do. <laughs> hmm. He said. So, but why I am saying in the same manner, so I spoke of whatever is to be spoken, but we feel little uh, uneasy to tell Guru that this is what is my feeling. Correct, correct, no? So, Talamala you feel, huh? you feel some uneasiness if somebody asks you. Huh? So, he also felt, how can I teach Lord Chaitanya? But he thought, because Mahaprabhu is insisting, he is determined uh, today, I have to satisfy him somehow. So, for his pleasure, I will do. Um, actually, some, there are some devotees in Pune who will never agree to give Bhagavatam class if I am in station in Pune. They will say, oh, Radha Shampu is sitting, you know, because he is very attentively, he will listen and later on give some feedback. <laughs> <laughs> and I will always find their name only when I am out of the temple. So sometime I will say I am out and suddenly I will appear in front of them. <laughs> so they will feel talamala. Huh? And then he is saying, Raya kahe ami natatumi sutradhara. उठे तथा उच्चारी 
सी आम इन नाटा तुम्हें सूत्रधार आई एम अ ड्रामा एक्टर एंड यू आर द डायरेक्टर सो हू इज डायरेक्टर चैतन्य एंड ही सेंग आई एम अ एक्टर दैट मीन्स सूत्रधार मेक्स यू एक्ट एंड यू एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज वेल एंड विश करेक्ट ना ये मत नाचा हो ताई चाहे नाची बार यू वॉट एवर वे यू वॉन्ट मी टू डांस ऑन द स्टेज आई एम सिंपली पपेट इन योर हैंड्स लाइक प्रोपर ऑल्सो सेट दैट नो नाचा हो नाचा हो मथे नाचा हो लाइक दैट इज सैड ओ मै डियर लॉर्ड मेक मी डांस कास्ट एयर पुतली आता नाचा हो स मथे आई एम सिंपली लाइक वुड एंड डॉल मेक मी डांस द वे यू वॉन्ट वेन ए गुड अमेरिका ही सैड वेन यू लैंड इन बॉस्टन ही सैड दैट मै डियर लॉर्ड आई एम अ पपेट इन योर हैंड्स एंड दैन अनदर एग्जाम्पल इज गिविंग I am like a veena yantra, and you are like a veena dari. So, will you glorify a veena or a player of veena? Hmm, why? Because veena, in and of itself, is not glorious, but somebody plays very beautifully. Eh? Veena, then you will appreciate the player. Hmm. So, he is saying, you are a veena player. I am veena. Tomara mane yehi uthe tatai uchari. Whatever desires arise in your mind, you will make me speak, and I will speak that. Like that he is saying. So, in this way. They both had a very wonderful. Uh, so, please repeat this. One should learn how to associate with the devotees of the Lord by gathering with them to chant the glories of the Lord. This process is most purifying. As devotees thus develop their loving friendship. they feel mutual happiness and satisfaction you agree mahaprabhu and ramandra felt mutual satisfaction and happiness correct and thus by encouraging one another they are able to give up material sense gratification which is the cause of all suffering chal prabhu par ki any questions 5 minutes you can take yes prabhu i should i give a mic okay Radhesham Prabhu, thank you so much for visiting ISV, and thank you for the wonderful class. Thank you. Um, the question I had was, so you know, we have Advaita Acharya as a combination of Sadashiv and uh, Vishnu, and so is Ramananda Rai. So, can you explain a little bit more behind their tattva? That how can they be a combination of? See, uh, what is this combination? Advaita Acharya Prabhu is Mahavishnu in the mood of Sadashiva. Hmm. Actually, if you read the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it says that when Vishnu is glancing at material nature, uh, that is one personality who transports the jivas from Vishnu to uh, Devi, and that personality is Advaita Charya. Uh, so uh, he is actually like Sada Shiva. That was Sada Shiva and Mahavishnu come at the same time. they come no. so sadashiva is also spiritual and uh, from sadashiva comes lavan rudras who enter into the material nature and uh, later on they all again go back into the sadashiva again they go like that so sadashiva's highlight is compassion uh, so aditya acharya therefore he is compassionate towards the jivas so he is evoking the presence of you know lord chaitanya mahaprabhu so one is the personality other one is the mood you say like for example ramandra is actually arjuna in the bhava of vishaka you know chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna in the mood of shrimitra darani but they were so much in the mood of that personality like this said chaitanya mahaprabhu you know he would be scratching the ground with his uh, nails huh? and the tears would be like continuous stream like yamuna and ganga will be flowing from his eyes he was completely had become like radharani uh, that is mentioned one place there was one toll toll naka you know so mahaprabhu's associates were uh, behind so mahaprabhu was alone when he was crossing that in those days uh, moguls were ruling no so the toll officer asked are you alone or somebody else also with you yeah. and mahaprabhu said yes in this morbid world i am all alone he said and then phew, immediately tears came from his eyes he was in the mood of radharani that krishna has left me and he has gone out of the so, and his, his influence was so powerful that toll law officer started crying he immediately became devotee <laughs> by mahaprabhu's influence 
can see that. So he was in such a mood of Radharani. So sometimes Radha, uh, Mahaprabhu is called as Radharani only. Mm. But he is Krishna, the mood of Radharani. Similarly, yeah. each personality has one personality, one bhava. The combination we say. Is it clear? Thank you. Behind? Uh, thank you very much, Prabhuji, for the nice class. I had a question, like you very nicely explained about Sudhama's pastime, how Krishna and Sudhama had their friendship. Mm -hmm. And when they were going in the forest and when they had the storm was there, they were, in one hand they were holding the mm. firewood, in the other hand they were holding each other. Yeah. So in our practical life, how, when we have uh, so many services and so many missionary activities to do? We have to plan uh, to take out time for this. You know, for example, like, you know, many Bhakti Riksha leaders conduct programs for juniors. But the, there has to be a forum where they decide to come with each other, which most leaders are not ready to take out time. They say, oh, I have no time, they say. Because they are all like an apex in a pyramid. Year one apex, another apex, third apex. So this uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, you know, this uh, art of living people, they have, in cities they call as an apex, they call so the apex has four people, it seems, uh, in the smaller cities and bigger cities they have more numbers. So these apex members have to come monthly once and uh, the founder, um, Shri Shri himself, he meets all the apex leaders once in a month and they have four day training program they have. So the leaders are taking out how many days in a month? Four days and he comes for one or two days. Other one or two days they have other activities. But the leaders have made up their mind that we will come together for four days so that rest uh, 26 days of the month we can preach and do their things like that. So in our life also, we can see for leaders, there has to be some training programs where, you know, you get to spend. That's why uh, Vaisheshika Prabhu now in, he is taking Yatra now. Correct, no? Now I heard that he has started one youth Yatra also now. One, of, one youth Yatra in December last week, January first week, I think. And then again one more Yatra for the congregation devotees also. Mm -hmm. So, it, the idea is the disciples get to spend time with spiritual master more closely. You know, get that uh, nourishment and training by closely. How do we uh, associate with the spiritual master? By serving and observing both. So, you observe how he answers the questions, how he deals with different types of people, how in difficult situations he, he exhibits integrity and maturity and character that you can observe the behavior. Therefore, we read Prabhupada books, Leela books and all. Why? Because you exactly understand how Prabhupada dealt with different people and situations, correct? No? So, you have to observe and you also have to get a chance to serve also. Serving, one, there are two ways of serving. One is physically serving by cooking prasad or driving a car or washing the clothes. You know, these are personal vapu service. Then there is a vani service, uh, taking some instruction, from the Guru for, say, doing some seva. You may be geographically far away, but you can do some service to Guru. When Guru requests you, please do this for me. Uh, so that is Vani Seva. So Vani Seva, Vapu Seva is serving, and observing can be done, like, you know, disciples observe Prabhupada in morning walks, in Prabhupada conversations, and Prabhupada dealing with atheistic scientists. Uh, one day in uh, LA, I think LA, I don't know which temple was it, Prabhupada was sitting, mm, so some professors had come, two, three scientists had come. So then the devotees uh, were, you know, in the top gallery. They were all seeing, watching from there. They would be talking to each other, see Prabhupada is going to smash this fellow, you know, he is going to be finished. So, and the president of the temple saw the devotees are hanging around at the top and watching below. Then he immediately sent an instruction, hey, all of you guys go inside, don't come. Prabhupada said, why are you sending them inside? Let them watch. <laughs> Prabhupada said, let them watch and learn. Huh? If they watch me, how I give arguments to the atheistic fellows, then tomorrow they will also know how to handle. Atheistic fellows, they should be given freedom to watch. No problem. Mm -hmm. He said. So, disciples should observe the great devotees, how they deal in different situations. So, that uh, observation, observation is not only seeing with eyes, it is also hearing with ears and uh, seeing, seeing the dealings and everything. So, uh, serving and observing one should do and uh, uh, 
therefore the leader should take out some time some time with each other and with guru also so this is two different things i am talking one is you know the guru can give us spiritual strength and the peers can give us encouragement we need both correct no because the peer association gives you the impetus to stay in krishna consciousness and grow in krishna consciousness by mutually inspiring one another if you have seen the um, what do you call it let me check whether i have it just one minute let me check it i have it here i got it here i'll just show you this see you are seeing this see team work and cooperation among the geese you will see this if you see this geese they go in a v formation you see huh? why they go in a v formation by flying in v formation the whole flock increases the flight efficiency by how much 71% can you imagine uh, so much efficiency they can increase instead of one bird flying alone how many of you have seen geese flying like this it is krishna has given them intelligence you see hmm? the first lesson sharing the same direction and working as a team gets us to the destination quicker and quicker and helps ourselves accomplish accomplishments are greater which means uh, like uh, you know we all same share the same direction because all devotees want to go back to godhead and by cooperating with one another and helping one another and appreciating the value of others association we can reach our destination easier smoother and faster correct no yeah so they we go in a, like that we formation and then when a goose leaves the formation you know what happens you know he feels the resistance of the air and finds difficulties then immediately he'll come back <laughs> quickly back to the formation because you know when you go together it is more easy encouraging one another correct no so this is the second one by staying in tune and united besides those who are going in the same direction the efforts will be less everyone will be inclined to accept and give help the second lesson when we leave the association of devotees and try to practice krishna consciousness alone see this fellow has become morose now yeah you know why the devotees spoke about me like this like that is thinking because we cannot tolerate the different natures of devotees then we make our progress in krishna consciousness difficult isn't it one mata ji she left that uh, temple and uh, when propad came to the city she sent a news to propad that propad i am not staying in the temple with devotees nowadays i had a problem with this ladies propad said why are you so foolish you know just because you had a little problem with devotees you are leaving the company of devotees it's very dangerous you know leaving devotees is very dangerous because tomorrow maya can easily uh, you know trap you if you are alone he said so immediately if you understand the value of vaishnavas and learn to tolerate small differences and inconveniences in our path back to godhead then all devotees will be inclined to accept and give help one swami in his khan he wrote a poem he said in my early days i when i came to his khan you know the first day i came to temple i lost my shoes hmm? here and the uh, same day when i moved into the ashram i lost my gamsha hmm? the towel hmm? like that he says and then you know the next week i kept a plate of prasadam below my locker when i took bath and came the plate was missing <laughs> and he said my only glory is i never left the devotees therefore i am still blissfully going on in devotion service he said there will be problems then hmm? all devotees will give, be inclined to give you ac- and accept help when the leader goes gets tired of flying what he does he goes to the end of the formation v formation while another goes takes lead huh? that means sometimes some of the people get old uh, some of the prabhuji's matajis then they can also have successors uh, to give them the task and then they can relax for some time relax means they can do reading chanting they will have some time for themselves successful bosses learn from people including their employees you can even learn from your uh, so younger devotees also because uh, like myself now i am a, uh, you know i i am from the 90s so nowadays so many technological changes have come huh? the follow up systems and everything which are new to me because i am not were so much tech savvy you know so then we don't we should not mind taking help from other younger ones hmm? i have a traveling assistant with me uh, sitting behind gopal pran prabhu you know? he he you know he is very good in coordinating my travels 
with, uh, you know, with various people all over, so I don't have to worry. And he is a tech savvy fellow, whatever is to be done, he knows what to do. Huh? So we can... You <laughs> see, uh, to share the leadership, there must be mutual respect between us all the time. You know, gathering our abilities, talents, resources, and combining our faculties, we can share the hardest tasks also. If we share and work together, even the leaders should be like this, huh, working together. Hmm. Now, though, when the goose are flying, they have a tendency to quack. How many of you heard geese quack? Recently, I observed in America, area, the goose are flying, they quack. You've seen that? Quack, quack. So what is the meaning of that? They encourage the other goose who are in the friend, you know, to the ones in the friend. So in the same manner, a timely word of encouragement always motivates, helps, and strengthens. It produces the best of benefits. It's because Vaishishpur is known for encouraging everybody, right? The cheerful smile and the confidence he gives, isn't it? Actually, most people come for that. They know that I will do something to please him, you know. He gives, even if you do little also, he is very encouraging. Hmm? See, if we bond together and support each other, if you make true spirit of teamwork, regardless of our differences, we can rise to meet our challenge. Life will be easier, passing of years will be more fulfilling, we can cooperate in that spirit for pleasing Prabhupada and Guru and Gauranga. Yeah, let us be like the geese and fly our way back to Godhead. Yeah. So, you got in. Huh? So, you answered your question, Prabhu? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, I think it's getting late. I'm supposed to finish by 10, I think, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Radhishan Prabhu, thank you so much for taking time. You travel all over the world, you counsel so many devotees, you help run so many temples, and you are incredibly busy. But we are so grateful that you took your time to come here and live in and to give us the spiritual joy and nourishment. And we look forward to coming, we look forward to your visit very, very soon. So a big, big hurry ball to Radhishan Prabhu. Jai Shri Prabhupada Hey Krishna Ji devotees, um, Prashadam will be served at 10.40 and so we'll have Kirtan and offering will be happening now.